All right, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video in today's video I got something super exciting for you guys I actually recently learned Premiere Pro and how to edit in it So I'm gonna be giving you guys a bunch of new tutorials over the next couple of weeks on how you can actually edit your own Fortnite montages and highlight videos in Adobe Premiere Pro so for my first tutorial on Premiere Pro I'm actually going to be showing you how you can edit your very own Fortnite highlights going over all the basics transitions impacts buildups all that stuff make sure to drop a sub if you are new to the channel over 70 percent of you guys will watch my videos are actually not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to drop a sub it's 100 free but with that being said all the links to the presets as well as the timestamps and the downloads will be down below in the description hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so this is probably a screen you're not used to so i'm actually in the side of premiere pro right now i just got the uh, default settings and all that stuff 1920 by 1080 60 fps you guys know the drill if you're here because you haven't edited in premiere pro follow along with me i'm a beginner so i'm not going to be going too fast obviously like i said in the intro i did just recently learn it uh, but i do have enough experience to kind of know what i'm doing so i'll kind of explain it to you and i've had a lot of experience with editing in similar programs like davinci resolve after effects and open to vegas but uh, what we're gonna do we just have right here in a little media pool we have our clips that we're gonna be using as well as the song uh, if you don't know how to download a song you can just uh, download the cool software called dmix uh, it's the best software for actually downloading music you literally just load it up and from there you can look up any song you want download it you just gotta log into an account and then right here you can literally search for anything there's also charts and it just directly downloads it to a folder on your pc right here um, so that's all we gotta do so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag in our song right here and i'm using the song she wants it by 637 godwin we're just going to shorten it down to kind of the portion we want to use right here line it up at the very beginning and normally what you do is you go through you'd find the beats and you'd press for example you press m on your keyboard while having this selected to actually add the marker to the beats so we can hear that's the beat drop we want to actually hit our shot on and then for this little clap you're going to listen for a clap after the beat because most like fortnite alex songs that you're going to be using have a clap after a beat and that's where we're going to want to transition on that clap right there and then this is also going to be our second beat and then that is going to be our final transition literally after that you can just press i don't know like be on your keyboard just go like that and then uh press v select it and delete it and that's this is pretty much the small portion of song that i'm actually going to be showing you how to edit with uh, so what we're going to do for this is just we're going to quickly drag in our first clip which is actually a joji clip i'm going to bring this audio track down like two tracks just like this perfect and just like that we have it set up and right here we're just going to zoom out a tiny bit we're just going to actually select the portion that we want to use of this clip so for me I already have a marker laid out on it so all we got to do really is line up these two markers just right here and we're gonna line that up just like that should be good and that's gonna be our thing perfectly synced and I'm just gonna zoom out we're gonna have this go to the very beginning just like that and then we'll go to this marker and we'll just cut it on this point right here get rid of the excess just like this perfectly synced transition point is on point and uh, that is pretty much that but all we got to do now is we're gonna add our twixter so all you gotta do is just download twixter to your pc i'm gonna show you how to straight up add it we're not gonna have presets for this because all clips are different just drag on your twixter on the kill we're actually going to keyframe the speed at something like 350 i know that might seem like a lot and it messes up your clip but trust me it will work then we're gonna use our arrow keys to go five frames back one two three four five we're gonna change the speed to 50 percent and then before that we're gonna go one frame back and keyframe the speed at 100 just like that and that's actually going to fix it again we're going to go back to the kill we're going to go one two frames to the right and we're going to change the speed percentage to 50 and just like that we have velocity on our clip all we're going to do now is just we're going to drag in our second clip we're going to zoom out just so we can delete the excess of this clip as well we're just going to kind of find the part right here Add a marker to it, trim it down, find the portion right here. Just like that. Perfect. And then we'll just uh, have these 
meet up at the center point right there and trim this off right at this transition point as well and delete the excess so that will be that just make sure you save your project i'll quickly show you what it's looking like and then obviously we'd add the same twixter so we can see that we have twixter in this clip we'll literally just do the exact same thing to this clip keyframe on the kill change it to 350 go one two three four five back 50 one frame back 100 go back to the kill one two after change it to 50 so that'll look perfectly good perfect and that is that that's uh, all we got to do for the actual Twixter part for our velocity you have two clips that are fully synced with Twixter velocity on it so all we got to do now is we're just going to go one frame back from our kill to actually add the impact preset I'll have in the description we're just going to cut the part right here on the part one frame back from the kill because that's the way that my presets work but if you wanted to add your own effects obviously you would just kill, clip it on the or not clip it you'd razor blade it on the actual marker and then what you do is you add you would add your own preset or someone else's preset depends on the preset but we're actually going to select this we're going to right click on it we're going to go to nest change the nest sequence to whatever the number is nested sequence four for me because i was messing around before and all we're going to do is we're just going to go to the uh preset that you have downloaded in the description which is going to be the clean impact right here and i'm just going to drag that onto the nested sequence and just like that that will add the impact to the actual clip itself, just like this. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with this. We're gonna go one frame back, we're gonna change to our razor blade tool, we're gonna cut it, and then we're just going to change it to a nested sequence, that way the twixter doesn't get messed up. And we're gonna change the clean impact. And just like that, man, that's how we have two insane clean impacts on two of our clips just like that and all you got to do from there is if you wanted to you could add a transition i'm gonna quickly show you how to do this uh, so for me what i do is my transitions are 15 frames i'm gonna show you how i actually make them we're gonna go one frame to the to the left of the actual transition point right here because this is where the two clips change we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five just like this we're going to cut the clip right here then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five cut it right here and what we're actually going to do is we're going to change back to select tool by pressing v highlight both of these go to nest just like that make the nested sequence six which is what it is for me we're going to look up blur mode curves in our effect thing right here drag that directly on for the exact point on the marker we're going to change the value since we're going to do a zoom in uh, if you change the value to above one that's a zoom out and if you change the value to 0.7 that's a zoom in um, the thing about a zoom in transition is the point one frame before the actual transition where it goes to the second clip you want that on the value of the transition so if it's if it's a zoom in for example we're gonna have the value of one frame before the thing set to 0.7 because that's a zoom in value but if we wanted to have a zoom out we do 1.4 for example so that's pretty much that 0.7 and then we're going to go to the transition point and do the opposite so 0.7 the opposite of that is 1.4 just like this make sure our actual uh, wrap x and wrap y values are set to reflect just like that and that should be good we can see the two uh do change right there and then on either side right here we're going to actually change the values to um one so just like that and just like sorry i went on the wrong nested sequence just like that and we can see our keyframes right here are looking good we're just going to select both or select all of them right here and we are actually going to bring this drop down right here where we can see the little graphs we're going to expand it just a tiny bit just like this and then we're going to see these controls right here and you can move these left and side to side we're just going to kind of bring these up right here so select this frame we could just do something like that and once we've actually messed around with this we are given the ability to kind of make a custom little graph thing right here so we're just going to do something like that should be good 
and that is actually how you just do a nice little zoom through clean transition just like that and clean impact and then obviously if we wanted to we would just select this right here and we do like the opacity we just keyframe the opacity go to the end keyframe the opacity at zero if we were fading it out just because it was like the end of the montage or something like that all right and lastly all we got to do is we can see since we've already kind of nested sequence the uh what's it called the impact we're just going to get our uh, build-ups now so for me i'm going to go to where we have this thing right here and we're literally just all we got to do is just drag that on to the part before the kill and it will automatically line it up with the impact so that we're just going to put the opacity one on this and then if we want to go to this one right here we could just drag the red god build up to this one and that will automatically land it up with that one right there and that's pretty much that i mean that's how you do a clean highlights video impact transitions and build ups everything you could ever need if you were completely done and you wanted to add your ident you just drag that into your media pool obviously and then you just drag that over top too but uh my my ident kind of lasts a bit too long so we could i don't know retime it if you wanted to but i'm just gonna leave it out for now but i hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below in the description if you have any recommendations whatsoever and what you want to see for premiere pro stuff i literally haven't covered anything in premiere pro at all make sure to leave those down below in the description i'm open to anything i'll be probably covering transitions in a separate video velocity more in depth all that stuff let me know what you want to see in depth on the channel we're going to be posting five to seven days a week for the next couple of weeks but i hope you guys enjoy like comment subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out so much water, you gon' need a bowl, little fuck, nigga. I'm surprised that you could stay afloat. East to west, we gone, coast to coast, little fuck, nigga. Ain't been a dime, I'm on the road. Got six bags, they came with a skull. Got six flags, she was right on my pole. Got jet lag, but designer my clothes. Bank just closed, but they might.